hello my people welcome back to my channel and uh, today i'm going to show you how to use excel in terms of calculating addition subtraction and multiplication so what you're supposed to do is when you have um, a page of excel like this these boxes you are seeing we call them cells and uh, for you to be expert in this program there are many ways that you can use this in terms of coming up with the calculations you can calculate maybe you are secretary and and you are wondering what you can do with excel and yet you have a lot of things that you want to calculate so what you're supposed to do is for you to be patient and see what i'm going to do so that you can use this tutorial um, to exercise it in your office or if you are a student you can use it um, uh, to calculate whatever you are given by your teacher so that you can pass that exam so what you're supposed to do in this program is for you to understand uh, something to do with the cells what are cells in this program cells are just uh, these boxes you are seeing and these cells comes in form of these uh, letters a b c d e f and then they go extra they can go up to uh, up to z and then they start again so for you to come up with the addition, we are going to start with addition. Uh, like uh, example of this one here, uh, in this secondary school you can see there are boys and then girls. And uh, I just want to calculate uh, this uh, number of students in this school. And uh, what I'm going to do is I have like uh, three formulas for addition and I want you to follow these form formulas so that maybe you can choose one which is suitable for you. So what you're supposed to do here is for you to know uh, where these boys are. Bo these boys are in this cell B and they are not just on cell B but they are on cell B4. You can see this 5. This 5 is at 4 and then B. So it is going to be like cell B4 and then the cell C4. So we are going to come up with a, with a formula and this formula is going to be is equal to sum into bracket B4 and then you put colon colon is also uh, another way of adding so you're going to say put colon and then you say uh, c what c4 then once you once you are done with that then you are supposed to hit enter so it will give you 13 literally when you add 5 and 8 it will give you 13 and this is the formula that you are supposed to do what to use that is formula number one for addition Formula number two for addition is that you can still use is equal to sum into bracket. You say uh, B4 and then you put the same, si the same sign for addition plus C, uh, C what? C4 and then you close what? Bracket. It will give you 13. You see? But with this disadvantage with this formula of plus is that you cannot add more than three figures here like five eight three you cannot add you if you want to add like even if you have many of them a number of students say up to here you want to add maxes their maxes you are supposed to use that column which means you add the first and the last and then you do what you hit enter so alternatively another addition method that you can do here is for you to uh, to go just to highlight these cells and then you come here to auto sum when you hit auto sum, it will give you the same same number for calculation uh, of uh, addition. So that is how you can add using Excel. So if you are there and you are wondering how you can add using Excel, this is just the same, uh, the, 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 the formulas that I have shown you that you can use to add something with Excel. And the good thing with, with this program is that once you, add, you, are, you, you have added one uh, one figure or oh, one, 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 one what uh, uh, you have added, you have got the one, uh, one answer here. You can come here to this box and then you drag down like this. You see, once you drag down like that, and even if you come here to, 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 to continue adding like 52, uh, you can say 52, it will give you the max for the rest. You see, it will give you the max for the rest. So that is how you can uh, use this formula for addition in terms of adding things. So when, when we come to the formula for division, like here I have said, 
8 and then I want to subtract uh, 2. So I'll have to say is equal to sum into bracket. I indicate where 8 is. 8 is at what? G. Still it is at G4. So it is going to be G4. Then I put this hyphen. Hyphen stands for minus. And then I put H what? H4. And then I close bracket. It will give me what? It will give me 6. You see? And uh, when it comes to multiplication, like I want to multiply something uh, like here. I just want to multiply 8 times what? Times 2. I'll say is equal to sum into bracket uh, G4 times times I just put star times H4 and then I close what? Bracket. It will give me what? Multiplication. You see? So if you follow these formulas that, I'm, that I have given you, you will be able to, uh, to, to get helped, especially when you are stranded and you are just there in the office or you are just, you want to do, you are given the work and you want to come up with the multiplication, that is what you can do. And uh, the good thing with Excel is that you can see uh, the formulas are just being displayed here. So these formulas, once you put any formula here, you can see it is... Uh, it is being displayed in this fx it means that that is the formula that you are working on so guys in, a, in as far as calculation is concerned that is uh, addition subtraction and multiplication that is the way you can do and trust me you can not um, get lost on the way when you are using this what formula and uh, something which defeats people here is for them to know the cells these are what we call cells so once you know where this the figures are that in which particular cell you can be able to calculate even if you bring the like the, the like the figures there six and then uh you can say like five or this one you'll you just know that it is this six is at where this fix this six is at l l l what l 22 and then this one it will be at m 20, no, it will be at M23 and then L23. So which means I have to come here and I say is equal to sum into bracket. I say L23 and then I put the colon. Then I say M23. I close that one there. It will give me the, what? the total. So guys, that is how you can be able to calculate using Excel. Excel is also used as a calculator. If you want to add something just like a calculator, you can also say is equal to into bracket. Uh, you, you can say is equal to uh, sum into bracket. You can just say uh, 12 plus uh, 12 plus uh, 12. And then you, you, you do what? That one you are not mentioning any cell. You are only calculating that one in just in case you have something that you want to. You don't have a calculator and want to use Excel to calculate. That is what you can do. And then you hit enter. It will give you 24. So you can use uh, Excel as a calculator in terms of uh, finding the solution for certain figures. So guys, thank you so much for listening and watching my video. See you in the next video.